Hello, everybody. Exercise number 15. We, had, we have seen now the function of the tongue in relation to the sound. So it's the air that makes the sound, and the tongue is just the door opener. No? And the door opener has to be in relation to, to the door, of course. No? The door is one millimeter, so you open the door and you let the air out. No? You cannot open a three meter enormous door and then let a cat in. Yeah, it's a bit strange. Yeah? You know, the cat's door is small, a horse's door is bigger, and a person's door is a bit the size of a person plus something. No? So if you have a door opener that opens the door for the air to make the sound, it should be the size of the, of the instrument, which instrument is one millimeter by seven, no? more or less. No? So, yeah. So it's more spitting the air into the reed than blowing or ta or speaking. Speaking is so now we have but we have to do a check if this tongue door opener can be used on various pitches because if not we could not make music. We have high notes, we have low notes, we require another uh, pitch on the reed. So, the exercise, uh, yeah, what did I say? Number 15, no? Exercise 15 is... <laughs> so, be in the rhythm, it's always done. Be in the rhythm, be in the pitch, clean, you, you, you know, 4-4. Four, four. And some will be... Uh, then it's clear that it's not a problem of the tongue, it's a problem of of how you change. Uh, you might change with energy. Uh, it would be difficult then to play a high note piano. Uh, you have some of those in, in Dieu, Sonata, or high F, uh, it's difficult, or many, uh, I remember, it's also Piano Concerto by Ravel, you have this high E flat entry, it's it's really uncomfortable. Everybody plays pianissimo and then you have this high E flat with the oboe, not to disturb there. But if you have to be able to, to have tonguing for different registers. So it's not the tongue that changes, it's, it's the sound that changes. The sound changes by changing the volume of your mouth, like changing a vowel. Only a vowel is very big. R, E is very big and uh, it's very, very small. But I, I, uh, or changing a taste. Huh? Coffee with two sugar, or coffee with three sugar, or only one. Oh, you forgot the other one? Okay. This kind of difference is it. So we need legato, staccato. But the legato also starts with the tongue. not if it goes wrong or it's, this is not a problem of the tonguing this is a problem of the pitch control huh? or maybe it's a problem of the tonguing because the tongue moves too much huh? it can be also huh? but if you reach that it's clean it's in a rhythm it's clean in the intonation and uh, as I said we talk later about dynamic but it's not the first thing to come. First thing is the control of the blowing, of the pitch, of the register. And now we are in the articulation of eventually we have to articulate this, um, this register. So if you can do <coughs> you can also do easily then. Uh, it's no problem. Hmm? If you can, if you can, don't. Uh, then you think it's the instrument, it's the reed, uh, everything else than you. But it's with the pitch of the reed. Double tonguing comes later. If you can double tongue with pitch change, it's no problem. So don't give always the the fault to the tongue if 
staccato doesn't go well. It might be you're blowing. It might be also that you give too much air and you block the movements in the mouth. Um, the best way uh, to come to the staccato is the R. It's air moving the tongue very fast. Huh? We, we come later to, to when we exercise this instrument how to, to get faster staccato. But I say just now for, for you that you can, when you have a problem in Mozart and your staccato is a bit slow, speak yourself R and look the relation between the, the air and your tongue. The tongue is very fast and the air is very dominant. And try to go to this kind of relation. So to conclusion, this um, just check always that the G sharp is really a, a nice one. just to check if at the end of the staccato exercise I have still the control to change uh, to relax the read and come back which means the, the vertical change or the horizontal change to the accents I still have both so just to check this was number 15 thank you very much